why these days it is so difficult to find a suitable match and get married in our 20s. Here we will go through those reasons and think about some solutions. Girls want to study a lot or they are forced to study a lot. At schools which we used to hate, we studied till we are 17 and 19. When it is a perfect time for marriage, we enroll into bachelor's degree to study for more 4 to 5 years. When we are 23, 24, we are perfectly fit for a married life, but we go to a job or decide to do masters. When we did master, some of us continue with PhD and after all those degrees, not working is a waste of money and energy because we studied for more than 20 years and if we don't work and make money, we are not satisfied. Because while studying, we had the intention to get a good job and make money. After masters or after PhD, we'll be in our 28 and 33s. In India, that age looks a little scary because people consider us too old for marriage. In the Western world, it may not be so late, but for India, it is little late. When a man is older and if he has a nice career and if he is the successful person, it is easier for him to find a younger girl where a strong men don't like to get married to a strong and little older woman. I doubt if girls can be as successful as men in their careers. Why? Because there will be a time when a woman gives birth to a kid. That time she has to take a break from her job for 2-3 years. After that, she will go back to her job and after 2-3 years again she will become pregnant and have another baby. Now where is the chance of being very successful in a career? There may be few women who sacrifice their kids' education for their jobs. But I am talking about healthy lifestyle both for kids and for a mom. Or if she has a strict career, how she can cook several times a day or several dishes a day. Something will suffer. There was an athlete who regretted her achievements when she was in her 80s. Why? Because at that age she left alone. When she was a young woman, young mom, she used to leave her husband and kids and go to tournaments to achieve huge success. She had lots of medals and certificates. But at her 80s, none of her kids visited her for even holidays. So the choice is in the hand of girls. Do you want a nice family life or a very successful career? I studied up to masters and I did bachelor's degree in computer science and now I am in Silicon Valley where I could be one of those software engineers but my education is, doesn't have value because I am not doing any job because I want to spend my energy for my family. Sometimes I regret that I wasted time studying those C++ and PHPs I would have learned singing and cooking so that I could use those now in the service of our deities and family. But there are cases when irresponsible men leave their wives, who lifelong used to serve them being a housewife. After such husband leaves his wife, she suffers a lot if she doesn't have an education and profession. That is a very sad situation. That is why I won't tell you not to study, but I will tell you to get married to a right person. Have your degree, but when such right person comes in your life, give preference to a married life than to any other things. Girls become independent and don't listen to their seniors. When girls make a lot of money, have their own space to live, make decisions in life, they stop listening to the good advice of their seniors. That may be one of the reasons why they keep losing good chances for a marriage. Suppose a girl is beautiful, young, she has a good job and nice place to stay. And because she is beautiful, many men may approach her for a marriage. 
and because she doesn't make right decisions for herself, she may even reject good proposals one after another. We girls give valuable advice to others. But when questions come to making decisions for ourselves, we commit foolish mistakes. As a result, keep good grooms and hope for better grooms. That way we delay our marriage. That is why it is better if girls always live under the guidance of their seniors and well-wishers. It may be a dad of a girl or her mom or her spiritual counselor who really cares for her and so on. When question comes to marriage before she takes any decisions, it is better she takes guidance from her seniors. Girls are too much selective and high demands. Sometimes normal girls may get married earlier and live happy married life than those who look like top models. Why? Because most times very beautiful girls have high demands. Or else few of us have very high thoughts about ourselves. The woman is made beautiful from the outside and most men are made beautiful from inside. That is why an intelligent girl will consider man's intelligence and good qualities as his handsomeness than his external looks, which he cannot change much. Whereas non-intelligent girl will give first priority to man's looks and only looks. And only looking at a man, she will make a decision not to be with that man. She will never think of future but temporary sensual enjoyment. Of course, it would be wonderful if both the couples look ideal, but in this material world, we will never look ideal. Even beautiful girls have some other problems. They may have bad hair or bad teeth, or they cannot cook well, or they cannot speak well, or they have some other diseases. No person is ideal. That is why wise girls will select a husband deeply studying his qualities and background. And there are lots of such good men who may not look as good as girls. That is why it may not be so difficult to find a good match. Girls fell in love before marriage and reject all other proposals. Many times few girls delay their marriage because they are in secret love with someone. She may love someone and wait for that person years and years and reject all other men who come with a proposal of marriage to her. And most times that kind of love is one-sided. And why she is in love? Actually, that person whom she thinks she loves may not be that ideal. The problem is the girl with her imaginary power creates an ideal picture of that person and starts loving that person. In the reality, that person whom she loves may not even know about it because men are not so sensitive and they won't understand feelings until you open your mouth and tell them what is happening inside. And usually man runs away from a girl who is in love with him. In marriage life, men's attachment decreases and women's attachment increases towards her husband year by year. That is why it is important that man loves a girl more than she loves him. And when a man loves a girl, actually his love is seven times deeper and stronger than that of a girl. That love can fully change his life for the good or for the bad. If a girl is a nice girl with high values, then man will change himself for that girl. If he is smoking, he will leave smoking. If he was drinking, he will leave his drinking. If he was not worshipping God, he will start worshipping God just because he is in love with that girl. If a girl has bad habits and bad qualities, then man may change and degrade because of his love towards that girl. That is why it is important if a man loves a girl more than she loves her. And a man who loves more will surely approach a girl himself or approach a girl through his seniors. There are cases in the history when girls used to fall in love with men and men agreed to their proposal. But those are very rare cases, and in many times men rarely used to leave their wives even if they don't love them. But what I told may remain useless for girls. 
who are already in love. Because such girls mostly remain adamant in their decisions, and only God can protect them. Dating for several years in very rare cases, those who date for several years before marriage decide to get married. For a girl, that is a fortune. Because if girls deal with a man for a long time, she develops strong attachments, especially if she never had other boyfriends. She will consider that man as her husband even before marriage. They will date for several years. What if they don't get married? Here is the problem. After being with one person so, for so many years, it is very traumatic to think of another person. That is why dating before marriage for several years is dangerous. Some fortunate girls get married, but most girls remain unfortunate. That way they waste their youthful years. Even if someone dates, that shouldn't last for more than a year. Within a year, boy and girl should come to a final decision. They will be together or not. Men can get married easily to a younger girl. But it is a loss for a girl because it is very difficult to get married when she is over her 30s. And men tend to forget such relationships within two, uh, 1-2 to years whereas girls will suffer from this separation even up to 5 years. Change of culture and beliefs Sometimes when girls change their culture and beliefs, they may face with delayed marriage. I came to Krishna consciousness when I was 17. In my 20s, my parents could have arranged my marriage with some local boys in my country. But because I have changed, it was difficult for them to find a suitable match. I became vegetarian, changed my religion and lifestyle, and they had to find a similar boy who never was found in our country until I came to India and got married when I was 27. This situation may be because of the mercy of Krishna, otherwise what would have happened if I had married to a non-devotee, meat eater? Life would have been very difficult. That is why this I consider as a protection of Krishna and his causeless mercy. Too much renunciation and high estimation of our spiritual stage. At the beginning of our spiritual life, we meet devotees and feel like we are the best devotee in the world. Then slowly we start finding few greater devotees than ourselves. Then when we become really elevated, we see how, how fallen we are and how great are other devotees. The same thing may happen to us, that is why we may decide to live renounce life for whole life. And after 4-5 years, when we realize that we are not so great as we used to think of ourselves, we start thinking of getting married and going little slow in spiritual life. But that time may come when we are in our 30s. Again, we delay the process. Or else we continue living like a brahmacharini and search for another brahmachari to get married to. Whereas intelligent brahmacharis decide not to deal with women. And those men who have the desire to get married doesn't seem like great devotees. They wear jeans pants, rarely come to mangalarity, grow hair on their heads and don't have shikas. They feel they are not ready yet for fully renounced life like of brahmacharis. They want some homely, comfort, beautiful looking, soft speaking wife, their own money and some freedom. But our life which we are living looks too austere for them. They find us too elevated in spiritual life and too much renounce. They don't want to get married to a sannyasini. The man likes his wife to consider him higher than herself and respect him for his intelligence and accept him as her senior. They are scared of too much austere women. That is why if a girl wants to get married, she has to take care of her body, looks, behaviors, about what she eats and about her homely skills. She has to look beautiful, eat sweets in the mornings and have sweet qualities. 
Here are the reasons why many girls cannot get married on time. If you have other questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you and I wish you happiness.